hello, 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 Transurfer <laughs> and the Transurfing Curious. My name is Renee Garcia and this is Transurfing TV. Still got a little bit of vocal fry, guys. Please forgive me. My body does not quite <laughs> stand up to my, my, my mental integrity or my mental wherewithal. <laughs> It's kind of sad, actually, when you get a little bit older and you're like, you want to go, but then your body's like, <laughs> please, why are you doing this? Why are you talking to a camera for hours on end? So anyway, my voice might sound a little bit funny, but I have learned some little tricks to try to control it. So hopefully all will go well. Today, part four of our four-part slide series, transfer chains today this is like it's so simple it's stupid <laughs> but for me it allows me to really just not have to feel as though the weight of needing to figure it all out right now is on my back and I'll admit, I've, you know, had a lot of goals in my life. Some I've accomplished, a lot I've accomplished, some I haven't. And the ones that I have not accomplished, I can very clearly go back and pinpoint that at some point I became overwhelmed and I thought to myself, well, Jesus, I don't see how this is going to happen. I can't figure this out. This is this is overwhelming. It's confusing. It's complicated. It's far-fetched. It's blah, 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 blah. I might as well just give up now. And, you know, it's 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 funny. It's an interesting, it's an interesting human trait, right? That we feel as though we have to have it all figured out in our inner intention thinking way in our rational, logical mind sort of way. And if we can't, then it's not possible. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of ridiculous, actually. And Transurfing offers us so much, so much more. And Transfer Chains, when I read this part of the book, I was like, Jesus Christ, this is genius. This is absolutely genius. And I'll admit at first, I thought it was genius, but I still kind of reverted back to my original, you know, pre transserving way of operating this. If I don't have it all figured out, then it means it's not possible kind of thing. And it wasn't until I really got into it that I, I saw with full lucidity. I'm like, oh, okay, this is actually it. This really, really, really works. This channel is a good representation of it. What I've done in the Transurfing community, things like my book that I'm writing and my other businesses that are thriving and, and, and they work well. And what it is, is it's understanding that you don't have to know all the intricate, intricate little parts in between where you are in your current layer of reality and that final goal, you don't have to know it. All you have to do is focus on the task at hand within the frame that you're in and perfect it and do and to do it, right? To do it and then your world will show you the next step and then you do that and then your world will show you the next step and you do that and before you know it, you wake up and you look back and you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. I moved through these various stages of this thing. And like for me with some accomplishments of my goals, right? Accomplishing my goals. I, I, I accomplished the goal and then I'm like, that was almost too easy. It was almost too easy. Now in each frame, I would have to take action and use energy, right? And make sure that my thoughts were all tuned into what I was doing and really like master the craft, you know, of what it was I was doing with each task along the way. And I'm still doing some of them, 
But the idea is that you're, you're, you're not left to your own devices alone, like your world just kind of pushing you all this information and stuff and material and, you know, stuff that you have to sort through and figure out and place all the pieces here and figure out your entire strategy. You don't have to do that. And here's the other cool thing with transfer chains before I get into it. There are certain times where I have arrived at a place, the accomplishment of a goal, and I look back on the chain of events that got me there and I laugh and I think to myself, inner intention thinking me would never have figured that out. Inner intention me would never have figured that out. I was not capable. I was not in a place where I could work that equation and figure that out. It was my world. So my world is taking care of me. Everything is going according to plan. Things are working out beautifully and will continue to do so with ease. I believe this now because I have experienced this. I have seen it. I have lived it. I have looked back and realized retrospectively that my world was in fact leading me in the exact direction that I needed to go. I just needed to not freak the fuck out and feel as though I was needing to be in control the entire time, having everything, um, you know, having all the information available to me and me being the master controller and doing all the stuff and freaking out if things didn't go my way. And just like that, that story that I, I, I explained in the Mirror World series, your world taking you to go get a toy, right? Are you going to be the one that is going to challenge your world and doubt your world and say, hey, we've gotten lost on some back streets. Where the hell have you taken me? Or are you going to let your world take you to the toy? And transfer chains is exactly how that happens. This is your world showing you the way and you simply answering the call when you need to. So before I get started, remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, um, all that good stuff, links below. I don't know if I even went over all this. I've been filming so much today. I'm kind of <laughs> lost in a sea of content creation, but all the links are below. Join us on all of our stuff and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let's get into it. Transfer chains. If the realization of your personal goal lies in the lifelines, which are quite distant, from your current coordinates, it is practically impossible to attune your energy to these lifelines directly. For example, if you are intending to sit an exam but have absolutely no knowledge of the relevant subject matter, you cannot attune your energy to a lifeline in which you pass the exam with fine col colors. If you know nothing about the relevant subject, you will not be able to visualize your answer to a single question. The path that leads from your current position to your future goal may be quite long, although not necessarily in a temporal sense. It is not only your position that must change, but also your way of thinking, your manner, and perhaps even your character. You cannot attune the parameter of your energy to any level of precision without actually walking the path. If you try to visualize the process of moving towards a very distant goal, you may be tempted to jump ahead and rush events, which is ineffective and leads to frustration and annoyance, which in turn will set balancing forces against you. You can play a slide with a mental picture of the distant future in your mind as often as you like. It will not do any harm, but visualizing the process of moving along a part of the path that you would not naturally be treading for a while, yet could end up getting you lost. Imagine that you have to head down a winding river. 
if you had the option, would not you walk along the river bank instead pulling the boat behind you and making a shortcut of the winding riverbeds? If the goal needs to be reached progressively, you will have to work through all the different stages towards it, whether you want to or not. For example, you cannot become a professional in any given field in one fell swoop. You have to first finish your studies, then find work, polish your professional skills, etc. This consecutive path towards a goal in the alternative space is called a transfer chain. Every link in the chain represents a separate stage because the individual stages are linked together in a chain. It is impossible to move onto any given stage without having completed the one immediately before it. Now I wouldn't say impossible, because there are sort of like some little reality cheats that'll happen sometimes. Go back and take a look at my video, The Candy Bridge. Um, this is when something presents itself. It's kind of like a shortcut. So you remember in that game Candyland, if you hit the candy bridge, you got to cut out a portion of the game. Well, this can happen. It's kind of like, it's kind of like um, some phenomenon, you know, outer intention phenomenon that will present itself sort of suddenly and you can kind of like, you can kind of like cut out some of the chain. This has definitely happened for me, but I definitely don't count on it, right? I don't count on these candy bridges. So again, go back and take a look at that video if you have not seen it, it's a, it's a powerful one. So I wouldn't say, um, I wouldn't say impossible, but it's better to, it's better to, to do this and just sort of like reap the rewards of the candy bridge once they, once they do present themselves to you. For example, you cannot study for a master's before finishing your first university degree. Each link in a transfer chain is made up of interconnected and relatively homogeneous sectors of the alternative space. The path to the goal is made up of transfer chains and the alternatives flow. The alternative space is inherently an ordered structure, which means that if you try to create a path to your goals in an unordered fashion, you will never reach them. You already know that in order to avoid disrupting the balance and losing a sense of the alternative's flow, you have to be careful not to create excess potential. Do not slap your hands on the surface of the water and do not fight against the current. That just leaves one more rule, rule, which is to practice visualizing the process of moving towards your goal at your current stage only. You can picture the end result as often as you like in form of a slide, but the process should be should only be imagined within the context of your current link in the transfer chain. There is no need to hurry. Everything happens at the right time. Okay, so I'm actually going to stop there because again, I feel like I can explain this pretty clearly. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. And using myself as an example here, so I know I don't talk about this a lot openly because I'd rather just sort of show everyone and show my reality and show you guys. But what my goal ultimate ultimately is, is I want to be an absolute expert in reality creation, especially for people that were born into, um, you know, into circumstances like I was, like disadvantaged, um, not having education, uh, growing up in dysfunction and chaos and abuse and all that kind of stuff. And I want to embody the highest version of myself and one day stand on a stage and give a TED talk and talk about this journey and talk about this journey in a way where, God damn it, I feel like I'm gonna start crying again. <laughs> okay, I wanna be able to stand on a stage and talk about this journey 
in a real way that's going to give people hope, right? Not hope, transurfing fake hope, but for people to see like, oh, it's real, it really, really is possible. Now, I'm not running this slide. This is not the slide that I'm running. I'm not envisioning myself on stage, you know, talking at a TED talk, being a hot shot, right? What I'm doing is I'm really just fulfilling each order as it's presented to me in my world and trying to perfect that order to the best of my ability that seems in line with that end goal. So, you know, people in the beginning were like, well, if you want to teach transurfing, you're going to have to be on social media. Okay, so I start some social media accounts, you know, and I had to learn how to do this stuff. For those of you that don't know, I didn't have any social media before I started doing this. So 35 years old, I had no social media. I had one Instagram account for one of my businesses, my jewelry business, and that was it. So I had to like get in there and learn how to do Instagram, learn how to do social media. Then somebody's like, hey, well, you should start a Facebook group. Okay, so I'm going to learn how to lead a Facebook group. Hey, you need to start doing videos. Okay, well, I'm going to learn how to do videos now. I'm going to learn how to build a YouTube channel. I'm gonna learn how to speak in front of the camera. I'm going to learn how to develop myself in a way where I can express ideas clearly and practically to the viewer or the person watching me. And it makes sense, right? Esoteric, somewhat complex concepts. I want to perfect the art of boiling it down of what you need to know and how it's going to help you. And this is my current transfer chain. Now, I don't think to myself, when's this going to be over? How long do I have to do this one? When's this one, you know, going to end? How long have I been doing this one? I'm just doing each thing until the next step is revealed. One day, and it may be in the very, very near future, I might never be seen again on YouTube. It's done. It's over. I fulfilled that part of the chain and my world presents to me something else that I need to do. Maybe it's like, hey, Renee, you don't need to be doing YouTube videos anymore. Now you really need to just be focusing on your book, right? That's all. So I am moving through the alternative space because again, just as Vadim Zeeland expressed in what I read, Sometimes your goal is far off in the distance, in alternative space, right? It's not a lifeline that is relatively close to you. So you need to move yourself there step by step by step by step. And again, you get to release yourself from all that pressure and stress of needing to figure out every step in between here and there and simply focus on the task at hand, fulfilling that order, fulfilling that request that your, your world puts to you. So here's the thing about working with your world as I wrap this up. And this is a great place to end this series. We talk a lot about placing your order to the world. And it's a powerful, powerful, powerful thing to be able to say, I want to be a reality creation expert. I want to be world renowned. I want to appeal to the person that was challenged in the ways that I was. All of those things, right? Placing that order to my world. This is who I want to be. Powerful. What is equally powerful is being able to fulfill the order that your world has placed to you, showing up and actually doing the fucking thing, right? Actually doing the thing. Man, why I'm getting so emotional on these four, the, the fourth lesson of these series, I don't know. It's, I, it's like I feel like as I'm wrapping it up, I can just feel this knowledge solidifying within my soul frail and I'm like god damn girl you're actually doing it it's a freaking miracle 
So transfer chains is exactly about what I'm talking about right now. This is about you setting your intention, placing your order, choosing the item off the menu, however you want to look at it, the transfer at the grocery store, right? Which item are you going to select? And then your world is going to tell you what's up. Your world's going to tell you what it is that you need to do. You show up, you perfect and fulfill that order. And then your world is going to help you onto the next stage and help you onto the next stage. And this is how you move through that time and space in between you and that order you place. This is exactly how you do it. So I hope you all appreciate this series and the ones before this. Go back and take a look at the others because this is some this is some revolutionary stuff and it, it will change your life if you work it, but you gotta work it. You gotta work it, you gotta work it, you gotta work it. So go back and take a look at the previous ones and shoot your comments below on, as my voice is totally leaving me, shoot your comments below on what you would like the next series to be about and I will absolutely tackle that concept. So thank you again for watching and have a good day everyone. Bye.